Welcome to Gummy on Benny. Today we are going to make some peanut butter cookies. And I promise you, these are probably gonna be the best peanut butter cookies that you've ever made. People love them, and they're actually, not that they're good for you, there's a lot of sugar in them, but there's no butter, there's no flour, so they are technically gluten-free. They're delicious, so let's get started. We're having some folks over for dinner tonight, so I'd like to make some peanut butter cookies. Now, they're coming over for dinner. I've worked all day, so I have less time than like if it's a Saturday afternoon. So I made up this recipe. It is the fastest, easiest, I think, and most delicious peanut butter cookie I've ever had. And I came up with it at a time when we were, a long time ago, we were kind of doing paleo, so we were doing no flour. So there is no flour in these, and there's no butter. It may make you want to say, then they're no good. I promise you, these are so delicious. So it has a lot of sugar. It's definitely not sugar free. But I have a cup and a half of brown sugar. I have a teaspoon of baking soda. And if you're using sea salt, just do a half a teaspoon. I have a kosher salt, so I did maybe three-fourths of a teaspoon. So I'm just gonna kind of mix those together. So as long as I don't see white, we're good. If I do see white, I need to mix that in. The next thing, um, and the only other ingredients, oddly, I will probably put a little splash of vanilla, but you don't have to. I need two eggs, and I need one whole container of peanut butter that is natural peanut butter. So not the kind that already has sugar. This is literally the peanuts and salt. You do tend to have to wrestle with it. So I am gonna pour the oil out. I'm gonna to have to get a knife and get in there. It's gonna take me a minute. So I'll probably wrestle with it for a second. I probably should crack these into something else. I'll just do it on the side here and be careful. You know me, I'm not dirty in another dish. You're taking a whisk. Taking a whisk, but I do clearly see I didn't get any shells. Uh, I'm gonna kind of just on the side bring it in, tummy down. I just want to whisk up my eggs a little bit because you want to make sure those are fully mixed around. You just want to mix all these things together. The peanut butter is a little difficult to work through, but as soon as it comes in contact with the eggs and the sugar. It all starts to loosen up, I promise. Bloop! Probably more than I bargained for. My arm is tired, and I have to wait for my bread to come out of the oven anyway, so I'm just gonna let this sit, and let the peanut butter start absorbing that sugar, and then I'll just shake off my arm for a minute. So, we'll see you back in just a minute. Tell me on, baby! <laughs> Finish it! You're recording. <laughs> okay. Um, my muscles have uh, recovered. We're going to be scooping up these. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Um, so as you can see, the peanut butter has kind of not melted, but you know what I mean, with the sugar, it's all come together. And I don't even care if there's little hunks of peanut butter because who doesn't love that? It's kind of like eating a Reese's. It's definitely a cookie that's on the saltier side. You can completely just scoop them like this. I love chocolate, so I'm going to put some chocolate chips in there. These are semi-sweet. Use any kind and use as much as you want. I'm thinking a half a bag, like six ounces. It's really loud. We'll see what that looks like. Looks good. Okay, so I you don't have to use a scooper. I have a scooper. I love a scooper. It just makes life easy. Um, they don't rise a ton, they don't spread a ton, so you can actually crank out quite a few. So we're going to put it in an oven at 350, and just keep an eye on I would say 12 to 15 minutes, give or take. If you have some of this salt, this is called Malden Sea Salt. It's just super flaky, delightful sea salt. It's just for that little extra crunch and saltiness on top of anything from steak to cookies, obviously. Um, so we'll do that on top. Do it before because otherwise it won't be able to stick to it. There's nothing better than a cookie and a cup of hot tea. Hot tea and a cookie. Woo! A little chocolate. So delicious. Mm -hmm. I've got to share with you. Have a bite. <laughs> Thank you for joining me at Gobi and Betty. Where you are taking whisk in the kitchen. Bye. You're rolling. You're rolling. I'm now rolling. 
Rolling. You're rolling. 